Welcome back to part 10. I'm still continuing with the castle. I'll probably finish it up right now. So I can capacity my shotgun and my rifle. So what I'm gonna do is just be pretty liberal with my shots. Those guys both blow the fire, so if they actually get close to you, feel free to shoot them or cut them. They'll light their own shit on fire. I'm pretty sure this is rifle ammo too. Yep. And I'm pretty sure I can take all these guys out with just the rifle and not the shotgun. So. Fucking headshot. Oh shit. You are way too damn close. You got an alien head. Okay. You can jump down. Oh, of course it showed. There you go. What I think I might do is actually do this whole underground part with the shotgun and the rifle. And then I'll run back and do the capacity for it. I got 15 shots with the shotgun. So the door that I need to get through is locked. If you go over there, it says it's locked, so you gotta get in here. Turn that dial, we're gonna jump down here. Now we're gonna go through this kind of little mining facility. That's gonna have a bunch of guys from the village. Just gonna. Of course, he sprouted ahead. Where's he at? There he is. Agarrelo! Shh. All right through the fucking bacha. There's two more. Neither of them have moved. Okay. Well, we're just gonna. Of course, you did. We're gonna take a drink for that one. And then we're gonna try to. Not reload. I can use them, but I don't wanna reload them. Blue. I think there was a spinel I missed as well. Right here. Velvet blue. I know if I leave that one closed or open, I'm gonna come back and hit it. I just I have a feeling. Nope. So there's two chainsaw guys in here as well. You can hear them move. They're not going to get me yet because they're not out yet. But one's up on the second floor of this little hut thing. And the other one's on the bottom. So we're just going to aim up here. and shoot that guy right in his back. And the other one here. Bacha. 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 This guy 
you're still a fucking liar. Bacha. Fucking die. Oh, Ryan is pooper. I was just I was just about to do it. But I think he's almost dead. It sounds close, which is scary. So going through that door, once that door closes, it definitely open triggered all these other guys to come through. So I needed to go in here so I can get the key and the key is what opens the door I need to get through and I could probably switch to the TMP and use that for the rest of this yellow herb so I can attach to one of my green and red ones. That's the key I need. So what I did was awaken like three more guys or spawn three more guys. They're gonna be coming up this ladder. So I'm just gonna chill here and slice them as they climb up. A couple rounds of this and they'll be dead. each. No, no, you got back up. Well, two of them are almost dead. He sprouted ahead. Oh, there's a red herb over here, too. And I have a single green. Nope. So this the ceiling is going to fall again like it did earlier in the castle. Right off the bat, I'm gonna turn around. There's some of these guys in here. Shoot them. And then the same thing, just hit all four of these. You have a good amount of time, so don't feel like you're too rushed. I mean, you wanna try to do it quick, but 
you have a pretty good amount of time. Velvet blue. I think this is some gold. Now we're going to start the little minecart ride, which is all kinds of bullshit, but we're going to make it through. So you want to shoot this. That's what gets it started. And I kind of chill back here. I like to stay in the farthest one back. You're going to get hit by flying hatchets and sickles and all kinds of shit. That is going to be normal. Four of these. I'm not too worried about collecting too much stuff that they drop here. But oh, could have grabbed that. It's okay. Refill my life. Use one of these. This is not good. All the things that can kill you, those heads. I just, I hate when those heads pop out. Those are the scariest things. He's dead. If you stay in the middle one here, you'll be pretty safe. a lot of magnum I'm gonna reload it too mainly for a drink but also to make up a little space so you can't move once you're in whatever spot once you start going down that hill and then LR or AB to jump off that cliff and then just spam A to get up the hill. But up the hill, I mean over that ledge. This is the stone you need to open the door. That's up on the surface. And then we just come through and come up on the surface.
already got everything we need here, so we'll just can shoot. We will turn back and go buy those capacities because the next merchant's gonna be after a good handful of bad guys. So we're gonna go do that now. Welcome. What are you buying? Is that old? <laughs> I'll probably you. keep that shotgun for the rest of the game. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I normally switch to the Is striker. <laughs> Maybe Thank I will. I'm still not 100% on that one, but I'm back at eight times. I'm just gonna kill him right in his face. And we're gonna shotgun and rifle our way all the way to the boss. But there's still two more little sections to fight. But I got a good handful. Oh, not too much rifle anymore, but I got a good shotgun set. So we're gonna... We're gonna be pretty liberal with this shotgun. Oh, I could have sold my velvet blues and spindles and stuff. That's all right, I'll sell them next time. Get some handgun. Should now we're in this room. That is a giant Salazar statue. But what happened is some guys came in and lowered this here. So now I gotta go. Open those back up. This fucking guy. So I gotta go turn those switches back so I can reopen my path across. He didn't give me shit. That's about normal. Bait him, cut him, Ooh, cut him correctly, and apparently kick him off the edge. That'll do it. That probably didn't feel good. Huh, <laughs> not the other guy off to. Not cool. I have to do little pieces at a time. Shoot them down, drop down, kill them. Shoot them down, drop down, kill them. Makes it a little bit simpler. Oh. Not when you accidentally shoot the the switch that controls the hand, though. There you go. Let's shoot that back. So the switch in the middle here controls the hands. And it was the left hand, and then I just switched to the right hand. Nope. We are not letting that shit go down. That's one switch. There's like three levels to this. And 
one switch is up that top level there. The next switch is going to be on the bottom over here. So up top there's really nothing I need, but I'm going to trigger this. And then I'm going to snipe this guy's head off because I don't like that he's holding that crossbow. I also don't like that he came all the way up. He normally doesn't climb up that ladder until I get over there. He is presumptuous. No. Hit it. There you go. So if you hit the switch on his back, now both hands are going to work. They come up. They come together. They separate. It's kind of strange. No one's near me. Except that guy. Not too afraid of that guy. Holy shit! He came up on me a little bit quick, though. Come on. Really? How'd you not get hit by that? I'll say, you gotta be close. He gives you five grand, so you definitely want to kill him. The red one. Some shotgun. So when you hit that, that lowers the, uh... It lowers, I mean, raises the last pathway to get across. So I can get across now. But these three guys drop. So I like to shoot them and then climb up here. Just let them kind of climb to their death. There's a few other guys over there too that got spawned whenever I hit that last switch. I'm not too worried about them. They don't really give me anything crazy good. I will take a drink for reloading my shotgun. And now we're gonna run. Because somehow this statue comes to life and starts chasing after you. They really took precautions in making sure no, no one comes in and destroys their plan, but they really fucked up their own castle doing it. Those are all the same. L and then R and then both. And then when you get through the door, it's L and R again. And just tapping A the whole time. This goes quick, so make sure to pay attention on this cutscene. So nice you could join us, Mr. Scott Kennedy. You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual, it's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry. 
We've prepared a special ritual for you. Make sure to pay attention on that dodge part, otherwise it will hit you and you'll die. He ran away, went up his little elevator. So he's gonna follow him up to the top, and then we're gonna fuck him up, and that'll be the end of the castle. We're gonna go up about halfway and there's gonna be like a elevator thing. So if you skip that quick enough you can jump over here. Let that barrel kind of roll. Don't go up the stairs anymore. The guy up there flipping a switch and he's rolling giant barrels down at you and sometimes these barrels are set on fire. The only problem is when you climb this, he instantly turns and tries to grab you. So make sure that you quick enough to not let him grab your ass. Also keep hitting this switch. drops barrels and kills the guys below you that he just showed come through the door. Oh! I forgot there was a guy chucking dynamite up there. Hit this switch again. Just keep hitting that switch. Snipe this guy's head off because he's being an a hole. Whenever you're ready, follow the barrel that you just rolled down. We're gonna come down and kill the guys you're pretty much rolling barrels into. These are all remnants of the guys you killed. This guy has a shield though, and he has a mask on. That's not cool. Shotgun and shield. <laughs> Who's near me? You! He definitely should have not made it through. Gonna die now. Now, the reason I'm coming back like this is because one of the guys, this guy, never comes up after you. But you can snipe him in the head just one time and he dies. And this guy has a nice 5500 on him. Now you can continue up. When you're running the stairs, keep going up. How the hell is that guy still alive? Keep going up the stairs. There's a green herb up here for you. And we're gonna turn around and kill that fucker that's somehow still alive. Nope. Really? There you go. Push the boxes off the edge. So 
you can get this running because it was too much weight. When it's too much weight, it doesn't move up. Hit this, face this direction when you hit it. And you want to turn around. Oh, missed that guy. Shoot that guy. And then turn around and shoot that guy. I just stay in a corner and shotgun these guys as they drop. There's going to be a lot of guys dropping in the center of this thing. And every time there's two or more, the elevator stops. So you want to make sure there's only one or less. The bald-headed fucker will always sprout a head, so you definitely just be aware that he's going to sprout a head. Usually two shotgun shots will kill them all, except the bald-headed guys, because they sprout heads. I like being in the corner because it shoots him in the corner because like this, that guy fell off the edge. And falling off the edge means they drop items that I can't grab. Although I'm okay with hitting that guy off the edge because this guy's going to sprout ahead every time. I'm gonna take a drink, and then I probably won't use my shotgun for the rest of the time. Sprout ahead. There you go. There it is. And he gave me nothing. That stingy bastard. No more bad guys until the boss, even though it's still playing music like there is. got 100 and TMP and I got some hand handgun get the red herb if you go towards this torch drop off the edge it's kind of a secret little last gold bangle you can get. And now we're on the boss. Which of course there's a There's a merchant right here. Alright. Welcome. Gotta sell some shit. What are you selling? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Now I know we're gonna get Is that some more <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> Thank you. And Is some more rifle. <laughs> Thank and you. technically TMP, but I kinda wanna save <laughs> Thank you. that for the island. Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Thank you. So that. What are you buying? So nothing new to tune up, Come which I back. figured. Seven of these. Definitely don't need seven of those, but it never hurts. There's a part in the island we were in kind of like a war zone. And it never hurts to have too much life. I 
Now we fight the boss. Take a few steps forward, goes to a cutscene. So they just did a ritual to send Ashley, but really, that Krauser guy earlier, that human, ah, came and picked her up. The ritual is over. She left with my men to an island. What? Took her away. So Salazar and his right hand are going to get sucked into the wall and become this boss. I want you to suffer just like Ashley. I use the TMP to hit the eyeball just enough times to open up that, which is like his heart. That's what you want to kill. You want to shoot that as many times as you can. Switch to TMP. Only because the bolts are relatively cheap. But you got to hit the eye enough times. Take a drink for the reload. Oh my god. Should have got the reload speed. And he's dead. Not too bad. A little less uh, scary than the the village boss. The village boss is kind of creepy because you're on the ground and running away from him. Last boss is very similar, but Salazar's not too bad. Shoot him in the eye. Shoot him in the face. There's all kinds of crap down here, so just hit all the boxes and barrels and collect all the crap that was down here. Oh shit, I'm already full. I definitely gotta sell some of these. A merchant is right around the corner too, so I'm definitely gonna sell some of this crap. Because I only have so much space. Really? Okay. We're gonna take a drink for reloading that. Nope. There you go. Take a drink for reloading that. I think I'm taking more drinks for reloading just to make space. Definitely got to sell some life. But selling handgun is cheap. Life is a little more expensive, so I think I'll hold on to the life and then sell that. But watch, it's going to bite me in the ass later. I bet I'm going to be low on health at some point in time. Herb. Can't fit it anywhere. What's the other thing? Life or gold? No. There you go. So in these barrels, there's. That's the snake. Oh, he didn't get me. Good. And that's gold. Just in case. Okay, Let's see what the snake is carrying. If it happens to be a gold egg, that's 3,000. You want to definitely sell that. Alright, first thing go straight to the merchant. What are you selling? Is that Definitely all? gotta sell some of that. Thank you. Is that all, stranger? 
Is that all? <laughs> Thank Filter you. Those. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Hand grenades. I definitely want a handful of. Is just that all? Because. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> I use them you. for the last boss. What are you buying? Exclusive. Makes it stronger than it normally is. is. I think I'm gonna strength? do it. <laughs> Thank you. On the capacity for the TMP. Gotta remember that for next time. Broken butterflies, nothing. Rifles, nothing. So the TMP capacity is ready. So I'm not gonna hesitate too much in just unloading all my ammo for the TMP. I have a good enough set of life. Grab all the stuff that was left over. What are you selling? Is that <laughs> and sell that Thank too? You. Um. Is that all strength? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. All right. I think we're good on stuff. Oh, I can reach him. He's all kinds of dead. So you continue down here. And it's going to cut to Ada. She has this speedboat, apparently. Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> okay. Okay. And then she's going to take you to the island. But for us, we're going to save it here, and we'll continue it in part 11, starting the island. So thanks for watching.